All right, guys, I don't know about you, but this is going to be really difficult to kind of record. So I'm just extremely excited for the mere fact that I actually have this thing. And the rattling of this is just me just so excited to open this up. So let's kind of just cut right into this thing because this box is huge. As you can see, it's half the size of my Detolf right there because the Detolf has four, four squares right there. And it's already half as tall as my detolf. So let's kind of just get into it. That's the shipper box right there. So as you can see, going down, look at that. Haslab. Haslab. Oh my god, I cannot believe I have this in hand right now. Alright, it's out of the packaging. Still have the shipper box. Kind of made it, put it on its side. So now that we can just cut this open and take a look because this is incredible boom okay so My God, the largest Marvel Legends packaging that I have in my collection. Unbelievable on how big this is. Seriously, it, it is enormous. Now, before I do, I guess let me kind of show you the f all sides of the box. So this side, we got this right here and then this is more than likely the front of the box showing all sentinel right there cyclops marvel girl on the other side and then from the other side right here we have magneto and omega fighting at the top along with xavier and moira moira mctaggart very, very integral character of this House of X Powers of Ten show um, storyline. Wolverine and Bastion right there with your Sentinels. So let's go. Let's open this up. So I flipped it upside down because I typically open it from the bottom. All of my packages from the bottom. So here is our instructions or paperwork and whatnot i'm going to flip this upside down so i can you know lift the lift the packaging out and then we'll go from there all right upside down let's lift this up and hopefully nothing falls out God, what? Uh, oh my God, this is unbelievable. The sheer size of this, you have no idea. If you guys have one already and are watching my video, thank you for stopping by to see this video. I am amazed of how big this is. And this, you know what's even crazier is Galactus is bigger than this. So, jeez. How incredible does this look? Oh my god. Like, let's see. Right. Black Bolt, honestly, and this is a Mezco figure. This is nuts. Nuts. How small. Oh my god. All right. Let's uh, uh how let's see how I'm gonna do this, cause everything's probably gonna fall out. Well, that's my thought. Everything's gonna fall out. Let me see. Yeah. So we got a lot of that protective stuff here, and very thick, clear plastic. Uh, but he's he's holding on. He's definitely holding on. Well, we got all this styrofoam stuff here. And 
we have our accessories to our coils damaged damaged and we have quite a bit right there so all right all right let's let's uh let's kind of do a top-down view let's see if i can do it that way all right guys so i kind of rigged this setup to hopefully it'll work but as you can see it's out of frame because of how big this thing is um so we'll just work with what i'm doing uh this stuff right here of course all the legal jargon but this one is about the batteries uh this basically i will need two AAA batteries so i actually got some cheap batteries right here got my screwdriver but let's kind of take a look at what's going on with what is in this entire huge styrofoam encasing um so first thing we will go here is Bastion right here, looking incredible, and it is just, yeah, it's just folded in there, taped up, look at that, it's kind of like a matte black going on, and the head sculpt is remarkable, really, really nice, definitely reminds me of um, that run on... Uh, was it X-Force or Uncanny X-Force? So there's Bastion. We got him going on. Um, let's see. We have the female Sentinel. Uh, what is it? Prime? So not bad at all. In which case we can use this male head. Which will actually be really nice if we use the male head for that Bastion figure. But it's actually, I mean, this is very simple and basic. I do have some kind of white residue going on. But nothing too bad. Sculpt looks amazing. Paint doesn't look off at all. So that looks really cool. Um, we will then go over the other accessories. See what else is in here so we have the broken hand so we have that hinge right there nothing movable yeah nothing yeah it looks like it's just pegged in uh so that's still really cool to see more so like a diorama piece to me um but it will work very well when we you know do some photography but awesome detailing right there, especially all the coils and the wiring that's happening. The blown off fingers, really nice. Excellent, really, really excellent. Uh, we've got our long coils here. Let's just take one out just so we can see how flexible this bendy wire is. So I've seen quite a few videos already of everyone, you know, showing off what they have experience with opening their figure and, you know, trying them all out. Why this thing won't come out is unbelievable. It's like it's static electricity stuck in there. There we go. But the rubber texture, you can kind of feel that in there and it bends very nicely, extremely it's not one of those where, you know, you have to like really twist. I mean, it would be nice if it was really hard, but, you know, one one good twist and it's stuck in there. Really good. So that is awesome. Really nice. Got a strong peg for that. Now, depending upon the weight, we'll see how the Sentinel holds up with the hands. But there's the coil. And we have here our damaged headpiece which is definitely i'm sure it's about the same size as the original head that's on there right now but look at the detail right there all the inner workings of of the robot right there blown off mouth going on 
and looks like there's an area for the light yep as you can see the light will shine through that and that's a giant peg for the head or the neck that's going to go in there but very nice does have some weight to it but it looks great this one tri sentinel much larger than this head you can see that definitely much larger uh, and yep we've got all the lights that will shine through in the eyes so there is like the like a more gold this one's more like a copper or bronze color different type of mouth than this one and this one looks like a like a gunmetal color different mouth as well much larger frame of head but this is cool for the tri sentinel so this was i believe one of the one of the unlocks that we had the tears so there you have that there is the tri sentinel head and the one that i will mostly use because i am you know trying to work on this diorama and this is enormous wow this is heavy here is your master mold look at that very nice very very nice love how that looks it's a lot of weight too and there's actually some detail on the inside which is kind of kind of silly but then again if his neck can go if his head can tilt all the way up then i can understand that but this is extremely nice it is there is weight to this i wish i had a scale to weigh everything that would have been funny but this looks incredible this master mold head very nice so now it's time for the big guy let's kind of unwrap you uh, yeah all right so i know everyone's gonna ask me about the legs or we'll we'll we will definitely check that out wow oh look at that you saw that it went loose already so you know it, it's not a problem i'll i'll try to um use the screws to tighten them up a bit and we'll see how much of a difference that is but as it is horizontal you can already see that happening so it's unfortunate i know it is a design flaw uh, that's what i know it can be but we will definitely figure it all out but as you can see this is unbelievable look at the chest piece that's where the light is we have his head right here too able to turn thank god we don't got anything other issues but we will check out the articulation this is just me taking him out it is an extremely large figure heavy as anything extremely heavy yeah that look at the details on this thing my god all right well let me let me put the batteries in and we'll figure that out so the battery cover isn't too bad i mean it's a very large piece you can feel it just kind of shimmy off so take that cover right off and there we have our screw and of course this is too small you need a bigger one for all intents and purposes i guess let's let's make sure oh yeah there you go red so i guess there's that initial power up of white and then there's red and there is our kind of bluish perp nope yellowish green green that's green and then there's red again i don't know i'm trying to figure it all out 
and then I guess it just turns off automatically if it's idle for so long. So let's, since I have the screwdriver, let's see if I can just, yeah, that's just because of gravity. That's all weight. So let's, uh, let's do it. Let's, let's open this up right here. All right, guys, if you're going to try this, it seems like it's very simple. You're going to have to use something. I wouldn't use this metal, but I uh, maybe something plastic that can thinly go within the circumference part of it. And it can just easily pop out just like that. So it's not too bad. Maybe it was just because it wasn't popped in all the way. But there is the cover piece. And here is this screw. Looks like... It's a typical Phillips, Phillips head screwdriver. Um, in which case, I could, I could definitely tighten, and I can see. Yeah, so let's let's just tighten it just to try it, because I don't know if you can really tighten it as much as you it's can go. Because even if I, yeah, that's, it's already tight and that's the problem. So unless the other side has a spot, I'll check the other side and I'll see. So I open the inner part. There's no screw there. So it's only just the one screw. Uh, so unfortunately, I I have loose knees, and that's that's what it just comes down with. I just have to be I just have to be more careful. So I am holding them horizontal, and that is how it's going to be. Now I will test it when he stands up properly. So we'll go from there and just determine how we're going to play with this thing, especially how he's really just going to stand up, considering the fact that. I'm going to have to, what, kind of tilt him a little bit forward to make sure he doesn't fall over in the back. But more than likely, the way I'm going to have him is he's not going to really be on display with, you know, the rest of my shelf. So he's going to be off to the side somewhere else because I am creating a diorama for him. All right, guys. So let's try this way. Um, basically, I'm just using my wall as a blank canvas so in regards to overall design it's just beautiful it really is the whole sculpt and everything is great uh for sentinel uh this thing is huge it is an enormous figure um i'm pretty much he's he's basically standing on his own uh he was leaning a little forward just because of the weight of the of his torso I mean, he's got this ab crunch here, so he's going to kind of lean forward like that. Um, and then he doesn't really go back, but he has this diaphragm joint here, which actually does help a bit. So you can maneuver that. And I know I did turn on his lights. So um, the head does swivel. It barely goes up and down. Not much even a tilt for the original head. Um, so... Everything looks great there. I mean, you can honestly just go straight around. And this is a smaller head, of course. Uh, with the other heads, so we'll just pop this off. Oh, yeah, you can really slide that on there. So this head actually has inner workings here, too. Interesting. Uh, but look at that. That is just one plastic clear plastic ball in which you can see the lights going off right there uh let's put on the as well here we go here's the damaged head so the damaged head yeah it's it's the same size so damaged head looks good and we can just pop this on wow that's not an easy pop but we can see the neck rotating back and forth when we do try to pop it on. Maybe that's as far as it goes. 
that could be as far as it goes. So there you have that in which looks good. I can't even twist his head around the neck, but the, it, it grabbed a hold of the neck pretty well so that I can turn it. All right, so let's just take this off and we'll use Tri-Sentinel. It's a lot of room, much more room to insert the head. There you go. There's that click that I want. So there is the Tri-Sentinel, in which case using the lights as well, spinning the head so that's good at least we can spin his head instead of me lifting his head up and down to try and pick the right one that i want to utilize for so at least i have options to use um in pictures which is going to be great so let's oh, pop that one off and then we got master mold master mold wow that's a much bigger head than i thought so there's master mold he has much more tilt in that. He can actually tilt downward and look up a little bit and got some expression going on there. And you can spin it because he's got the room underneath that goes around with around the collar. But that original head is definitely much smaller than Master Mold. So that is a big difference. And I can understand because Master Mold, I mean, it's Master Mold. You would assume he has a bigger head. <laughs> Uh, but there you have that. Uh, let's see. So we already went through some articulation. We saw the neck can rotate like that. Um, he does have the armor, like pauldrons right here, that can um, maneuver. So that way, and it is like pliable. So I mean, you can kind of squeeze it. But it makes the arms easier to go up. So you can kind of go up to that 90 degrees right there um not fully 90 but he can do it uh and he does have the elbow joint which is a double can he utilize it uh, i don't know i can only see more of the single right here so if he yeah he does have the joint but i'm not sure if he can do it he has a bicep joint Right there so that's nice to see um and there's no wrist swivel it's just the bicep but of course with the hands the hands is going to be a much different story so let me just alter the camera a bit to to show you that it is the same side over here this one yeah this one i can maneuver his elbow more i can maneuver both the top and the bottom as you can see right there this one was a little bit more difficult but I'll, I'll figure that one out all right so let's lower the camera okay so for the mid um right here this is your ab crunch right there so that actually works and then of course i mentioned with the diaphragm joint it's got going on there is no waist swivel because it's kind of ridiculous to have one um with you know all the inner workings like this this purple diaper type thing that actually is it's just basically covering up uh i guess all the joints that you can take a look and go on and see um but you can see how that will be very good for maneuvering him and putting him in per particular pose. So that actually works out. Now, considering that I put the camera at this level, let's try to make sure he stands properly. I don't need him tilting forward that much, but what I wanna do is try to show off the hands. So the hands are actually very, well, look at that, Ooh, there you go. Look at this. So we have this like armor flap here for the, the gauntlet or the forearm. Uh, and then as you can see, there is that nice swivel back and forth and it rotates. Um, but for the hand itself, we've got this articulation here for the thumb as well as the knuckle. Well, both knuckles, I, could, I guess you can say right there, one and two. And... Look at these fingers. So they both rotate like this. 
you like honestly just spin them all the way around you won't even know if you're, it's the front or the back um oh no yeah you can tell uh so they each rotate and then of course they can all go bend that way or you can have them bend this way so every knuckle of an articulation you got going on right there and curl them all in and easily very easily make a fist just like that so that is quite the articulation for fingers i mean and very well so because you know this is a very large action figure you can kind of expect that that articulation in the hand is actually very, going to be very good um it would have been smart if i actually had a figure to show you guys let's see look at that isn't that crazy um let me just stand him up he's all crooked anyway so i don't know if the knees will have a factor because i know yeah he's gonna fall backward like that but he can stand perfectly fine let me just fix his torso So even with a small character like Wolverine, we will definitely attempt to see how yep, that thumb is great so there you go so he can hold on to wolverine pretty well because i got his thumb completely held in on there just like that so that's actually really really nice i mean you just make sure oops you just make sure that articulate those fingers holding on to them like you can just grab one leg hold on and then use that thumb to make sure he's held in place and he'll be good to go just like that uh now what's more challenging is probably if you have a bigger figure like colossus so with colossus maybe you can hold on to his leg maybe it's a possible almost very very close um holding his entire body that might be the challenge you might have to really work work at the fingers to try and get like his index finger and his thumb to kind of hold him in place so and then use colossus's arms to kind of hold him on hold on like that so that so that can work so that is actually nice to see that, you know, you can do that. Um, now, since I do, am still working with his hand. That's nice. Uh, coils. So this peg should fit snugly. Wow, well, yep, it's going to fit real tight. So that actually, I don't even have it in all the way. There you go. And that will actually... Be really really nice now I know the weight of any figure is probably gonna screw up you know trying to make sure he can balance properly um, but it's definitely worth a try to get you know what you want out of it so I have him leaning but he's holding on to Wolverine pretty well uh, even like that so that is held on pretty tight uh, but there is some good room 
of what can do or what you can do with it. But yeah, looks great. So since we're still working with the hand, we're going to try this out. Um, this is the broken hand. Uh, and I honestly thought it was the left hand. I thought this was the left hand at first, well, at least in promotional images, but it's the right, because here's his thumb. So let's see how easy it is to kind of pop this. Oh, it's very easy, very easy. So that's nice, and it's snug too. So there is the damaged hand, and the damaged hand looks really good. It can hinge, so that's nice to see. Um, what I'd like to try and, yeah, so that's cool. Get a nice, like, optic blast going through there. And because he can hold his hand out further and have that hinge. Yeah, so that hinge is very crucial for any type of, you know, I guess, photography. Uh, but it looks great. looks really good. Um, let's... Change that back out. There you go. And let's see. Let's move further down and check out the legs. At least let's try and check out the legs um, without having it fall over. So we're down to the lower portion of the body. Uh, we do have, let's see if I can tilt it up a bit. Uh, we do have an upper thigh swivel right here which actually benefits for anything um the legs very much so can do the splits like so uh that is crazy oh so heavy um but that's actually really cool we got the upper thigh swivel of course the knees are double jointed um but i don't it's not gonna, mine are loose. So that's just my unfortunate situation. So you can, both of them will go. And as you can see with gravity, it will fall over just like that. Um, I, I'm gonna try and figure something out because maybe there are other options of how to have them a little bit tighter. So I will figure that one out. Um, this is still, really really nice um even on the back side this here i wish you know there was like in some extra aesthetics to maybe have these flip open for like thrusters that would have been really cool as we go lower here are your feet um how can i mess around with this so with the feet let's see i'm gonna you try to stand up please uh we have the hinge the hinge is actually really, really nice. Um, it does hinge a little bit back and a little bit forward. No, not as much forward. It's really not as much forward. But that back hinge is actually really nice. It can pivot just a little bit. Um, these will get in the way of it. So uh, we will try to kind of figure that out as we go along, but it does have a hinge to to, to maneuver and um, pivot a bit. This here does move, but it's not, it doesn't move as much. And plus I believe that's what help, that's what hinders it from kind of having that pivot forward. So even so, it still works out pretty well. Uh, and then that's it. All right, guys. So overall, this figure is still amazing. It really is. The, sh the design of it, I mean, for a HasLab project, they did a great job. Yes. Are there some flaws to it? Definitely. There's definitely flaws to it. But what else can you really do about it? You can't. They're not going to. Honestly, I don't know if anything can be done about it. But I will find something that will try to help the knees, you know, kind of stay in place where I need it to stay in place. So I am just looking forward to, you know, playing with my toys again, um, especially looking forward to doing 
some more action shots, some photography shots for my Instagram. That's really, you know, the main gist of this. Um, this is a great showpiece to have for your, you know, Marvel Legends collection. Just not even just Marvel Legends, just for your collection of all things. This character is just iconic to X-Men. Um, more than likely, I mean, I'm sure it's iconic to comic books in general. I mean, in all honesty, everyone has seen the X-Men animated series. You know what a Sentinel is. It's, it's, the Sentinels were all throughout the first season. And if you didn't know or see that, then I understand that you could easily be lost in it. But everyone from our generation and even, you know, newer generations have seen this X-Men animated series cartoon. And everyone knows <clears throat> all about the Sentinels. So... I am extremely happy to finally have this in hand. Yes, I was very jealous of everyone getting theirs first. Um, still waiting on mine to just show some sort of movement from FedEx that this was being picked up, this was being shipped. Um, I'm just excited that I finally got it. Uh, this is still an amazing figure to have in your collection. I am extremely thrilled to be doing any kind of toy photography with this. I'm extremely happy with my purchase. Um, I hope you guys, if you ordered one, you already got it. Or if you are still waiting for it, I hope you guys get it soon because you will really enjoy this once you, once you get it. I am extremely happy. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. It, of course, this is definitely gonna be a long video, but I extremely am grateful for you guys taking the time to watch the video. I hope you guys um, are well. I hope you guys are doing well on your hunts at the same time. So just make sure uh, if you can, please just leave a like, um, comment for anything. Just comment, let me know what you guys are thinking about with this particular Sentinel figure. Um, and if you're new here, just hit subscribe for me. I would greatly appreciate it. Trying to reach the 4,000 subscriber goal. Uh, as far as it goes, I definitely appreciate you guys watching the video as always. Hope to hear from you soon. Hope to see you on the next hunt.